Hello, fifth and sixth grade. Today is the end of chapter 11, and so you have your chapter review today. There isn't a particular reading section, but you can use your textbooks to go back and help answer these questions. And you can use the glossary in the back of your book as well to help answer. So on 11.8a, uh, we're starting with a vocabulary review. So you have a list on the top of different words from this chapter. Use the words in the word bank to fill in the blanks in the paragraph below. Write the correct answers on the lines. Each vocabulary term is used only once. Okay, so as you use it, cross it out. Um, so the Earth is constantly changing as many different systems interact with each other. When the Earth's lithospheric plates collide, earthquakes take place. Earthquakes generate seismic waves, which travel through the layers of the Earth. The blank waves travel the fastest. Next, the S wave, the blank waves, Follow close behind, shaking the ground back and forth. People on the Earth's surface feel earthquakes at the blank, which is directly above the location where they occur, which is also called the blank. Volcanoes also erupt when systems are out of balance. The magma that pools under the surface in a magma chamber travels through a pipe and leaves through a blank. Volcanoes are classified in three basic types. A blank is made from pyroclastic material. Quiet eruptions of thin lava form blank, but blank are composed of alternating layers of pyroclastic material and lava. Weather also plays an important part in keeping the earth systems balanced. A thunderstorm result can change results from changes in warm and cold fronts, which cause instability in the atmosphere. Sometimes a blank or a long line of thunderstorms can form. When this happens on land, meteorologists look for blank, which can be measured using the blank. When thunderstorms occur over water, they can merge and begin rotating around each other, creating a blank. In the Atlantic Ocean, these storms are known as blank. When the storm comes ashore, a, water, a wall of water called a blank follows, which usually does the most damage. A person in the eye of a hurricane might be deceived into thinking that the storm is over because it's calm there. However, it's only half over. On the next page, um, match the correct term in the box with each description below. Write the corresponding letter on each blank. Each letter will be used more than once. Some terms may have more than one possible answer, but give the answer that is most accurate. So for each of those statements, you're gonna say whether it's T, a thunderstorm or tornado, H, a hurricane, E, an earthquake, V, a volcano, or W, a wildfire. So you can just write those capital letters next to each of those statements. Like it said, some may have more than one, but what do you think best defines that statement? On 11.8c, it says complete the following diagrams. Write the correct terms on the lines provided. So you have a fire diagram, you have a volcano diagram, and you have an earthquake diagram. So go back in your book, look at those pictures in the chapters to help you label um, each of those diagrams. And on the last one, on 11.8D, it says answer the following questions. How are volcanoes rated? What is the name of the scale used to rate hurricanes? How many categories of hurricanes are there? What four conditions can sometimes indicate a tornado forming? Describe how to find the epicenter of an earthquake. Be specific. Think about the lab that we did the other day, and if you can't remember, you can go back and watch the video that I put on the lab clarification for 11.6. Give one example of something that might trigger a volcano eruption. Of the two scales that are used to measure earthquakes, which measures the magnitude on a seismograph. List one benefit that wildfires provide for the organisms living in the forest. What single part of a hurricane is the most dangerous? What effect caused a great deal of destruction on land? 
which type of seismic waves are most destructive, and what are the three categories of volcanoes based on eruption activity. So do your best to answer those questions. You can go back in the chapter and look for those answers, look for those definitions, and do your best. If you can't find an answer to something after trying it or asking a parent, it's okay to leave it blank um, and we'll go over it together. Do your best. Have fun reviewing this amazing earth that we um, live in and the amazing things that happen within it, sometimes scary, but awe-inspiring. And we will start a new chapter next week.